So girls, I'd like you to meet Eleanor Fitzgerald. She's part of the Saints Foundation as a participant. She's been on something called Premier League Changemakers uh, last year, which is a female leadership course. Prior to that, she went to one of our community champion schools, so a secondary school in Southampton called Burton Park. Are you a Saints fan? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah? yeah. Get down to w women's team or men's team or both? Both. Both? Both. Good, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> uh, what got you into Saints and what got you into the position you're in now? I was just with Shannon giving me all the opportunities I could get. I just thought I need to take these and these these can definitely bring me into such good opportunities in the future and maybe potentially working for Saints Foundation in the future, which would be a good accomplishment. As Eleanor did like, the female leadership course and is interested in like leadership going forwards, it would be great to hear about your experiences as like previous captain in teams. Yeah, I was captain against uh, Coventry, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Coventry, it's, it's just one of the things that it's it comes natural really. Um, I've been various, I've been voice captain in various teams. It's kind of a passion as well, so you kind of lead from example. I think leaders come in different shapes and forms, don't they? You've got, you may be quieter players that kind of just work day in, day out, set examples, um, not necessarily have to be the loudest person on the pitch or on the training pitch, but like I say, they set examples and, and they lead in, in what they do each day. If you were going onto the pitch, would you be a leader? Oh yeah, definitely, especially with my college team and my team outside of college. I'm definitely there trying to like help the team be more encouraged into the game because say if we're losing, some of their heads drop and I like to be there when to keep them boosted up, to keep that energy going and going yeah. and going to fight to get that winning back. So as a leader, it can be sometimes quite draining on you, sort of thing. With us at the moment, um, after the first game of the season, we kind of were feeling a bit down as a team, but we go back into training again and you look at us now, I mean, we are thriving in training every day, every week. How's like maybe women's football and like maybe leaders within like kind of women's football, you know, men's football, football in general, how's that changed throughout your career? For me, obviously, been in and around football like all my life, I've always said to myself, I wanted to be professional sometime in my career. Um, I've never given up on my dreams, my aspirations. And I think it, it comes down to what Katie was saying, you know, if, if you've got that fight and that desire that you will kind of get there in the end and, and I've never given up. So have you, obviously you play yourself and you're obviously going through the leadership courses, is coaching something that you look at doing or enjoy doing? Oh yeah, doing? definitely. I do this thing with my one-to-one -one coach where we have like little kids come in and we do activities and all that. And it's just to like kind of make me get into that kind of environment of coaching. So I do want to maybe improve on and like maybe a coach a team or something. That's amazing. I think the club are super lucky to have you.